Welcome back, you guys. On today's episode, we're making barbacoa tacos. The camera's falling, but I'm keeping it up because I'm a professional. Let's get cooking. God damn it, this fucking camera. Just pl just stay up, for the love of fuck. I'm a private chef. Cook for money, yeah. All right, guys, barbacoa tacos. Now, traditionally, okay, we're not, we're going to have to cheat a little bit. Why? Because to really make traditional barbacoa, you're going to have to dig a pit, cover it with agave leaves. We don't have that. I barely have fucking space to stand. You think I have a place to dig a fire pit? No, I wish. I wish. But we're making the apartment version of barbacoa tacos. We're going to use a pressure cooker. It's fine if you don't have a pressure cooker. You can use a slow cooker. So what I have is some chuck roast. It's already cut up. Aside from the beef, what you're going to need, this is very important. You do need this. You need chipotle peppers in adobo sauce. This is going to be a ton of flavor that comes from this. All the smokiness, a little bit of heat, tons of richness, no tons of depth is coming from these peppers and from the sauce. You can find this at the supermarket market right there in the can section. I know people are going to be like, I can't find it. Trust me, you can find this in any major supermarket. On top of that, I have some cilantro. I have two little serrano peppers here. If you don't need this, I just like a little bit more spice. I'm going to chuck these in. Some limes, you will need limes. And then I have an onion that I've diced up. This is optional too. Really, you can get away with just using the beef, the chipotle peppers, and a few seasonings. I have some cumin here. Very strong Mexican flavors here. When we think of tacos, cumin is really that flavor that really embodies all of it, really powerful. And then some oregano. If you can find Mexican oregano, even better. I'm just using straight up oregano because I couldn't find Mexican myself. But if you find it, boom, use it. It's a little bit different, not crazy though. And then I'm gonna have, I have some beer. I'm gonna cook it in beer today. You can use beef broth or you can use water. I happen to find a beer. I was like, you know what? Let's have a beer. Let's drink a little bit. Let's cook a little bit, have some fun. It's Taco Tuesday. Come on, get loose. And then right here, I have some canned chilies. This is optional as well. These have been sitting in my pantry for a while now. So I figured I'd use them. Let's get started. Very simple. Let's we'll season up our meat first. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of cumin, and then I have some oregano here, about the same amount. And then of course, we're gonna hit it with salt and pepper. Plenty of salt, plenty of pepper. Where's my salt at? Where the fuck is my salt? La da da da, what the fuck? Am I out of salt? Ba da 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 da. Rob, are we out of salt? That's fucked up. Oh, here it is. God, I'm an idiot. It's right in front of my face. We're gonna go right into our pressure cooker with that. Beef goes in. Look, we're not even gonna, we're gonna skip the stage of browning it. I'm gonna go quick, quick, quick with this one. We'll dump the onions in there. Boom, that goes in. I wanna show you just the quickest way possible to do this. So don't harp on me, don't go, oh, you're not searing the meat off. Fuck off, okay, I'm showing you fast. And then to that, let's grab potle peppers. Oh, it smells so good. Mmm, mmm. I'm gonna take two of the actual peppers out and I'm gonna slice those up. And then what I'm gonna do, grab a spoon and just take like two heaped tablespoons of just the sauce. Look at that, all the flavor from that sauce. One, two, yes. So let me slice those little peppers up quick. Again, just rough chop. This is all gonna just blend together. So I don't mind at all. And I'm gonna go in there with the serrano. You can use a jalapeno if you want, or you can just omit this if you don't if you don't want anything. Now I'm gonna go in with some cilantro, stalks and everything. All of our cilantro goes in. Look at this color. That's what you want to see. About I don't know, probably the juice of two limes, and then some apple cider vinegar. Just a little bit. If you don't have apple cider vinegar, that's fine. Just use more lime juice. It's just another form of an acid. You need some liquid. It's not you can't pressure cook without liquid. The liquid is what creates that pressure. So then we'll go in with our beer. Do I have an opener? Just use this. Good rule of thumb is like half a cup of liquid per pound of beef that you're using. This is about three pounds. If you don't want to cook with beer, you can use beef stock. If you don't have beef stock, you can just use water. At worst case scenario, you can use water. It's not going to be as flavorful, but you can use it. God, this can opener sucks. I don't think there's been a worse can opener. Holy fuck. Chilies go in. All right. Now we're going to pop this on the pressure cooker. About 50 minutes, 50, 60 minutes, full pressure, high pressure, and then we'll be ready to go. We'll get some tortillas out and we'll have ourselves some tacos. I just realized I forgot to get tortillas. So while that cooks, I'm gonna go get tortillas, I'm gonna clean up, and we'll be back to assemble and eat. Back again, while that's cooking, let's make a quick pickled shallot just to go on as a topping. I love shallots on my tacos. You can go wrong, and I just was like, you know what, let's just pickle this quick, why not? It's very easy to do, we're just gonna use lime juice, sugar, and this nice shallot here. I love shallots, they're nice and sweet. All right, so I'm just gonna slice this thin. No, 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 why is this slipping? Throw it all into a bowl. Let's go in there with a little bit of lime juice. You could use a vinegar too. A red wine vinegar is fine. Apple cider vinegar will be fine. Just need some acid in there to start the pickling process. Just a quick pickle. You know what? Fuck it. Those juices, those limes aren't that juicy. I'm going with just a little apple cider vinegar to cover that up. And then sugar. We need some sugar. Where's my sugar? Uh, like half a tablespoon of sugar. Give that a mix. 
Let that pickle, let that set aside. Boom, okay, we will be back in an hour. All right, guys, we're back. I was able to find tortillas. Um, I went to Target, they didn't have anything besides flour, so that's what I'm using today. If you wanna use corn, go for it, that's my preference, but hey, just make sure you toast them up and get them nice and charred. We get some nice bubbling on these. We're gonna let the pressure come out now. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo! Let's go! I love it. Oh, we're burning. We're burning, we're burning. We're burning, we're steaming, we're burning. We're on fire, let's go. Listen to that, listen to that smell. It smells in the room, it smells in the hallway. Everyone hears it, everyone loves it. People will start coming, the people will come, we'll feed them all, we'll feed everyone. God, that sound though. That's just, it's, oh, the light died, the fucking light. Nothing ever fucking works. Guys, as I fix my light, now would be a good time to say, if you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe, please, it means a lot. Please don't burn it on fire. I'm gonna burn this place down. Just subscribe to the YouTube channel. That's all I ask. We'll keep cooking. Okay, do we have a light? We have light. Let there be light. Oh, subscribe. Please subscribe. All right, we're back. How's that look? Who gives a shit? Let's keep going. The reveal. Dun, 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 Ooh, that was a little off pitch. You ready? Oh my God, look at that. Okay, okay, come on, focus up. A little bit of juggling, tortillas go over here. Let's get like a slotted spoon or some motherfucking. All right, now this is gonna go on the board. Oh my God. Look how this just falls apart. Look at that, look at that. So now we have just our shredded beef. I'm just gonna go into a bowl with that beef. And then look, here's what I'm gonna do. Take a ladle, just get a little bit of that, that cooking liquid. Incoming, incoming. You like it to be sitting in the broth, basically, and you pull it out with tongs. There we go, there we go. Let's move this over here. What is this fucking bullshit? This tortilla is not toasted. Get that over here, get that on the flame. Oh, we got a fire, we got a fire, we got a fire. Okay, no bueno, that's not good. We got a fire. Boom, get a little bit of juice on there, nope. Oh, don't make a mess, don't make a mess. Come on, you got it. Going with a little bit of those pickled, those pickled shallots. Beautiful. Okay, you know what, let's go nuts. Let's go nuts, what else do I got? What else do I got? Here we go, it's also there today. Put that on there, why not, why not? Just paint it, just splash, just Jackson Pollock. Just Jackson Pollock. A little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Cheese, queso fresco, queso fresco, cilantro. Gotta finish it off with a little bit of cilantro, why not? God, we lost the light again. We lost the fucking light. We almost made it to the end. Oh well. No light to finish it off, but cilantro on top, and that looks beautiful. I'm happy with that. Where the fuck is my light? Oh, it's dead. Look at that. Look at that. That's art. I turned the camera on. Yes. Fuck yeah. Give me a high five. Here we go. That looks like a great little taco right there. What more can you want? And we're dripping. And we're dripping. I don't want to get on my new sweatshirt. Here we go. Here we go. Let's get the fuck out. Get out of here. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is my favorite taco now. This tops any taco I've made. Chicken taco, kick it away. That steak taco I make, kick that fucking, this is the ultimate taco right now. I am loving this. Oh, camera down, camera down. Don't care, don't care. Taco time. That's so good. Rob's sitting there like a vulture. He's, he's hovering. He's not getting any of these tacos. I'm eating all these tacos. He thinks he's getting one. No, 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 man. You can go sit down. Here you go, Rob. You enjoy that one. I did my charity for the week. He's eating. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up. That's how you do a barbacoa beef taco. Incredible flavor. Incredible, bar none, incredible flavor. You make it this way, trust me, you will be happy. I'll see you next time. I'm Chef Donnie. Peace.